Okay, yeah, it's been a minute. In fact, it's actually, it's been a bit more than a minute. It's been probably like a week, week and a half, probably even two weeks by the time this video actually comes out. But this last week and a half has been absolutely mental. I've been all over the country, stayed about five different places, been working remotely from all of those places. We've obviously had the Euros, we've had everything going on. And I got vaxxed about five days ago, and I've been massively ill since that vaccination, hence my voice is gone. Partly playing into the fact that it was the Euros. But yeah, this last week has been mental. For a bit of context, I actually work at a tech startup based in London called Amana, and it's in early stages of development, but I'm a creator in residence helping to inform the development of their product through creator interviews, user interviews, and etc, etc, identifying the pain points of the creator and whatnot. But the good thing about this job is it is very flexible. So the only commitments are the meetings and then anything else that I need to do, any of the other tasks I can do around my schedule and to fit around my schedule. I explained that absolutely awfully. Basically, I've got a lot of stuff that I need to do, but I don't have commitments to do it at particular times. Like I don't have to be in an office space as such. 9 to 5, I can work at 3 a.m. I can work at midnight. I can work kind of early hours of the morning and whenever suits my schedule and all the things that I'm doing. That makes more sense. But yeah, great thing about the startup industry and something that I'm definitely going to be advocating for and helping you guys understand how, how you can attain a similar working position yourselves. And there's going to be a lot more content coming in the startup space and all of that in the future. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to drop a subscribe if you want to see that. But otherwise, let's get back into it. Which leads me to last week and the spontaneity that occurred. Basically, if you watch the last vlog, which is day three of glamping, we drove all the way from Wales after a three-day glamping trip up to here, home, here. I'm not going to disclose where I am, but at home. You, you get the vibe. And essentially, we got back at seven o'clock and our mate was having a like a kind of gaff gathering thing drinks fire whatnot at 7 30 so having literally driven for like four or five hours we went straight out we sent it abiding by kind of the, like the morals of this summer send series and yeah we went out but then on that night me and emery one of my mates one of my best mates you sent him in all of the drive me series which if you haven't watched is up there definitely recommend watching those we booked a hotel in london we just thought you know what it. So yeah four or five days later we left and this was the start of probably one of the greatest weeks of my life today which is absolutely mad there were so many little things as you'll see in the rest of the vlog but other Otherwise, hope you enjoyed the ride, and let's go. Yeah, we are let's sit down and currently here, okay. Some lady just came up to us. Which the, uh, Actually, maybe we should just check where we're going first. <laughs> no, we're here, we're here, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, when we were <laughs> at home this morning, I had a panic attack because I thought we were getting a train from Oxford. We weren't, we were getting it from somewhere else. So we left about 20 minutes early. Got here way too early. And it's fine because we just started talking to someone. But now we, we got to Oxford and we didn't realise we had to change. But someone came up to us and was like, oh, that's my seat. That's my seat. And I'm like, uh, well, this is my seat. And then I realised like, minutes later I'm like wait we're supposed to be on a different train right now so we like yeeted off the train like as fast as humanly mm -hmm. possible um, and now the other train comes in two minutes and we're vlogging for you guys and we should be finding out what platform we're on so <laughs> think yourself lucky okay yeah that's commitment nah it's definitely here but I think that's yeah. the coming I'm born to run down rocky cliffs give me grace bury my sins shattered glass So this train we've gone is actually longer, it takes longer. So we're estimated to get there about, what time? 11.10, uh, and then it's 10 minutes from the station to this WeWork we've booked. And uh, I had a meeting at 11, so we've moved that to 11.30 now. A bit of a shambles, but it's fine. <laughs> in a wee work now so i booked this yesterday and it's basically like flexible workplaces so you can go any any of the wee works in london to take like meetings do work all of that it just seems like a really solid idea and definitely the way i'd want to be working in the future if you know what i mean yeah so i've got a meeting in about 20 minutes the key card's just activating and then we can go up go to all the different floors and basically sit wherever we want to do work but with this and this was just stupid basically to activate the card you had to hold your screen close to this camera on a laptop the camera would move closer and closer to your face and scan everything
game, but you couldn't smile while it did that. And as soon as it started going, Emery just started laughing out of nowhere, and that made me laugh. And I literally, for like 10 minutes, just me, the guy at the counter, and Emery were just bursting with laughter, and we just couldn't verify my identity. And I had a meeting in like 20 minutes, so I needed to be clinical, but we finally got it sorted, and then yeah, we just sat down, and then we were up. <laughs> So we arrived at the hotel, we're gonna drop our bags off before going out to get loads of like, food, drink, all of that. But we just thought we'd check to see if we can check in yet. And luckily they said yes, but then we went out to the room, we got in and there was a single bed. Wait, what? So after they'd already moved us from one hotel to another, because they didn't have enough vacancies at the one we'd actually booked, they didn't get the right room. We complained about that and then they gave us a double bed for me and Emery. We were like, okay, a bit of sus, I'm not gonna happen. We've got two single beds. So then they were like, okay, that'll be ready in a few hours. So we went out, bought some drinks, this is that. Right, so we finally got into the uh, the hotel, me and Edo. We had a bit of a struggle with the room. Finally, after a while, we got two singles. But we're now got food, we've got all of the drinks and stuff in here. All of the good stuff, all of the food, everything. We're gonna go out and get some electric scooters. That's gonna be sick. Yeah, in Hyde Park. We're gonna get some electric scooters, go around there for a bit. Come back here to pre- uh, Six? Yeah, something like that. Six, and then we'll go out about 20 past seven, a half seven-ish, and it's gonna be sick. Okay, right, we'll give you a little room tour. So you come in from here, um, you've got the two beds down there, and then the bathroom. The bathroom's actually well nice you come in you've got the shower you've got the mirror the mirror's actually beautiful nice big mirror you've got the sink all of that shower gels towels whatnot toilet <laughs> you come out of the bathroom you've got a nice big mirror here this mirror is sick i like this mirror then you've got the lights next to the bed two single beds all of the uh mini fridge uh mini fridge is actually down here then you've got the microwave whatnot all the glass you've got a tv you've got these you've got the curtains that's only bed my phone's there cheeky mirror mate this mirror is actually beautiful i like this mirror a lot you've got the uh, french connection i'm pretty sure that is no that ralph friend that's it ralph friend yeah, yeah yeah okay then you come across to here and then this is the final bit, the cupboard. We don't actually have any clothes to put in the cupboard, so it's literally just cupboard, you got a cupboard, you got a safe, and that is pretty much it. Room tour complete. But yeah, so we're going out in about a half an hour, 20 minutes, um, and no, sorry, we're going out in five minutes, and then we're coming back in about two, three hours before we pre and then go out later, so this is that. But first, it took us about a million attempts to get that right, so enjoy some of these bloopers. Entrance, obviously, and then we're heading over to the bathroom. The bathroom's actually sick. So you're going through here, you've got the, um... <laughs> <laughs> So you go in, you've got the um, the shower gel down here. <laughs> you got the shower. <laughs> so you go in here, you've got. That's your uh, mirror. Mirror's always in. <laughs> no, obviously in here, you just got. <laughs> in here, because we don't have any clothes. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna fall over. <laughs> I just wanted some more. I wanted some so more. Crazy. I just wanted some more. Never been for hard time for more. More? Yeah. 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 Some more, one of the twins. Sort off the electric scooters, they're actually pretty sick. Very sick. Very, very sick indeed. So we just want to over to, could act on like underground or something. So we're going to take the underground back to ours to pre in the hotel. Woo. See you there. Bye bye. Think I didn't take risk to get to this sitch. Don't take oh, oh, Obviously, me, I admit I did what I did, but I deserve this. That's why the ball got popped at six. And I'm a hollow up oh. the evening. I used to think I'm just dreaming. I just wanted some more, one of the twists. Oh. Think I didn't take risk to get to this sitch. Don't take the pull. Oh. Alright, oh, so Google Maps is just dirty on the underground. Ended up probably use a railway to be fair, but ends up on the wrong one. We ended up heading on the over. Was it overground line? Yes, yeah, like uh, yeah, we were actually meant to be on the Bakerloo line. Yeah. So we're going to Gotham Euston to Euston Square. We're taking the Piccadilly line, I believe, and taking that back to Huntington. We're getting off. This is stressful. This can't. We'll get it. Give it a look for yourself. I never did want no help. Just told me he's worrying about my health. Because I've had four pints and three shots of rum, and it's half past 12. Right, we finally made it. So we're back in Huntington. Now, hotel's what, like two minutes away. Yeah. We'll be showering up, we'll be getting changed, we're we'll getting ready to go, listen to the music, getting the drinks out, there we go. Oh, I think I didn't take risk to get to this sitch, don't take oh, do it. Oh, me, I admit I did what I did, but I deserve this. Oh. That's why the ball got popped at six. Oh. I'm a hollow up oh. the evening. I used to think I'm just dreaming. I just wanted something more, whatever twist. Oh,
think I didn't take risks to get to this stage Don't take the Well, I've been me, I admit I did what I did, but I deserve this That's why the ball got popped at six And the whole of them are the I used to think I'm just dreaming Now dream is the way I be scheming Manifested, now I'm succeeding I've read the secret, I know the meaning You want more, you don't get there pleading, bruv Fight for your cause, kicking and screaming Cause I come from the shore, but a poor part All you see is crackheads feeling My smoking weed and all the I just wanted some more, one of the twists Think I didn't take risks to get to this stitch Don't take the pull Oh, it's got me, I admit I did what I did, but I deserved it Alright, so we've uh, just got off the train now Jeez. Heading up to the Roxy, which is this place that one of my, um, one of my friends recommended to me Like a sauna in the underground, I'm telling you, you don't come here unless it's winter Yeah, honestly, it's way too hot down here But um, yeah, so heading up now, we're about five minutes out And hopefully we'll be calm Thing I told you that I never would, I told you I'd change Even when I knew I never could, I know that I can't Find nobody else as good as you, I need you to stay, need you to stay They just introduced, and we get the privilege of contributing to the naming of the cocktail for this bar. It's the Roxy's. I can't feel the way I feel. Be fucked up. It's really good. It's really sweet. This is very sweet. It's a good drink, isn't it? It tastes like a It's tart and good. It's like a sour patch kid. Yeah. Oh, it's sweet. sour than sweet. Alcohol, but sour patch kid. Yeah. Alcohol, make it sour. Or sour patch, make it alcohol. Do you guys have that in America? We want to name this drink the Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road. So come to the Roxy. Yeah, the Rainbow Road. It's that. You can be right here. Half hours now, but um, yeah, sorry to leave you. But it was a great night out. Yes. I enjoyed it. Why wait to say at least I did in my way? I wait to face, but in my heart, I understand. I made my move. Okay, so now it was Thursday and I just left Emery and I was heading over to Ollie's, someone that's been massively influential in my life, but I've never actually met. He's kind of been mentoring me for the last kind of like six to eight months. He's the co-founder of UniRise, and that's how I got to know him, but we've kind of just become really good mates. And yeah, I'd never actually met him apart from on like Zoom meetings and stuff like that. So this is really interesting. I went and saw his apartment and his apartment was mental. <laughs> But yeah, that night was a bit mental because I got there, I had to shower, and then I was straight out for a company social. So with Manor, the tech startup that I'm working with, every kind of couple weeks, we have a night out in London or like a company retreat or something like that. So tonight was bounce. Basically, we play table tennis, we play beer pong, and we just have loads of drinks. And yeah, just like a good night. And then it was straight back to Ollie's for like a nice dinner with loads of these different, weird, interesting, crazy people that you wanted me to meet. And that was wicked. But this is that. <laughs> Left the company social and I was sick. I really enjoyed it, it was wicked. Man. 
I think that's Ollie's um, for like dinner, drinks for people, and he's got loads of interesting people to me, so I'm really excited for that. Why wait to say at least I did in my way? Why wait to face? But in my heart, I understand I made my move, and it was all about you. Now I feel so far removed You are the one thing in my way 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 <laughs> see is literally manslaughter. Ollie killed me with this set. Basically you had to get down into a plank position, do 10 press ups, then the other person did pre 10 press ups, then 9, then 9, 8, 8, all the way down to 1. But you had to stay up the entire time and that was death. So yeah, enjoy that. <laughs> Okay, so at this point we just finished the workout and I was very, very tight for time because basically my, I was meeting my aunt at this place called the Tile Yard and we were leaving to drive three and a half hours. It worked out to be about five hours up to Yorkshire to see all of my family. So I literally got home, got changed, grabbed my bag and left. I actually thought I got my coat. I'm picking that out this week, so it's calm. But yeah, up to Yorkshire to see family. But I did it, I did it. Ask about me, I did it. Let man stay on my sofa, I did it. Bust him, I watch my choker, I did it. I kept a straight face in his poker, I did it. Look, rest assured man's got you. If life's weighing you down, then I'll spot you. Water you show you son never block you if no one's back in your beef then i've got to yeah back your beef that's my job just ride for me don't write off i got your back hold tight when you climb on i've always been a real one to rely on okay so yeah i've just driven up to yorkshire with my aunt and now we're here i'm a bit shattered but we kind of had last night just to chill we'll see everyone and then today is actually celebrating my nan's birthday so we've just been on a walk grabbing some drinks we're having lunch having food we're watching the football later and it's gonna be sick but i'm just sat here in my cousin's room uh, uh, catch up on some more work for Mana because I've got loads more stuff that I need to do and I also need to edit a few videos so I'm gonna get as much of that done as possible now uh, so that I can yeah go out and enjoy it later so should we get don't mean that I'm live but live and direct means I'm building a vibe touch on a mind on God I'm a ride I win and break bread from my fire my provide eight piece eight piece come and get me set piece curl it in from a set piece AJ makes the waves like a jet ski I style ice everywhere like I'm Gretzky okay so yeah I just had my vaccine on the Sunday then we drove home but then I woke up the next morning feeling absolutely awful like it just felt like i had a cold it was terrible that was my second pfizer vaccine but then it got worse and worse uh, i took like lateral flow tests all of that to make sure i didn't have covid i didn't have covid so i went out on the monday had a few drinks with my mates and that was calm tuesday bedridden all day but then wednesday me and my mate were meant to go to london so i packed in as many flu meds as possible 
and went. We went to London, that was fun, but I'm currently editing in my garden. This is like two weeks later because after that night, I literally died. Like, I was so badly ill uh, that I couldn't do anything. Hence, I haven't been able to upload any of these videos. I've been trying to get this back to it as soon as possible. I'm finally here, but I'm now leaving for holiday in two hours, so I can't edit the full thing. But hopefully I can. Hopefully I can. I'm close, I'm close. But yeah, it turns out it was some slightest, so I got on some antibiotics. I'm now almost finished my full course. I'm feeling much, much better, which is brilliant. But anyway, last Wednesday, I think it was last Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, last... No, actually, it was two Wednesdays ago. Two Wednesdays ago, me and my mate went down to London to conclude the incredibly mental week that we just had. It was a bit mad. This is that. Okay, sorry for the absolutely abysmal camera quality, but I'm in London currently, so I'm filming this on the webcam of my computer because I forgot my camera. But yeah, get ready to enjoy some excruciatingly painful singing in the car on the way home because our voices were absolutely destroyed. The whole world stops and says for a while Girl, you're amazing Just the way you are Oh, that is so beautiful! Oh my god! Too soon, really. I'm actually driving. Girl, you know that one's going amazing. Just the way you are Okay, anyway, I'm sorry for such a long like break on the tube, on the old YouTube, but I have been massively ill as I explained. And then after finishing, or well, somewhat finishing the edit, I then went down to Cornwall for a week. Those are my friends. I don't worry, I'll film that as well. But now I've got a backlog of about six videos. So I've got the Euros final where we built our own venue to watch it in. 
YouTube, we've got the new key vlog, we've got a few nights out and just little bits here and there. Lots of videos, some productivity videos and whatnot. So there's lots, lots more to come. Don't worry, I'm gonna be editing them all. I'm gonna be getting them out to you guys. And I've also got family holiday next week. So I'm pretty much just gonna be at home, grinding it all out, trying to get it all out for you guys and catching up on the backlog that we've had. Also, I've got a little bit of the sun in UK, which is always nice, but yeah. I'm currently here in London, staying at Ollie's apartment. It is so, so nice here. It is ridiculous. And I'm so appreciative that he's letting me stay. But otherwise, that is it for me today. I do hope you've enjoyed. I hope that if you aren't already subscribed, you consider just subscribing and seeing lots more content like this. But otherwise as well, if you did enjoy the video, drop a like and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.